Uh, that is a downdraft in the market, folks, of 1.5% uh, inside the S&P, 1.5% uh, in the Dow Industrials, and 1.1% in the NASDAQ. Now, let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, bottom line, I mean, our man Basil has a great newsletter, opening call, comes out every morning. Uh, you can get uh, the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, when you get his newsletter, folks, you're going to get a huge amount of archives, particularly 12, and you're going to understand how Basil looks at the market every day and how we ride this wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. It was good to hear Larry a moment ago. And, of course, these patents, as we, we were talking about it last week, how it's just amazing. These fractals of human nature just get, get applied to the market so that, you see that represented all the time. It's in different time frames. It's really fascinating. Isn't it? And particularly, and I, you know, because you're a musician also, I mean, that that is kind of, I, I suspect that I never could read music, but I think when you start learning music, I, that's kind of the first place that actually, you know, you can see, right? Up, down, it, yeah, towards it, the whole ball of wax, People right? always say to me, how, how come you're, you're a professional musician, how come you got into the market? What's the connection? And I always say, timing yeah yeah it's really timing so this is fascinating because uh, you were talking about repeated patterns so i always talk to you about the in the chapman wave methodology we're always looking for at least in a buy signal to buy mode upgrade there should be at least um four higher peaks and those four higher peaks are alphabetized i'll just show this quickly here for those of, of you who are new uh, i try to identify the lowest bar then I sequentially count each successively higher peak alphabetically, A, B, C, D, uppercase on the way up. They can go to E, F, and G. But D is really, the, the objective is to get you to at least a D, and then other techniques kick in. So isn't this fascinating? I spoke to you about this. With, um, in January, we made that peak D in the, in the Dow at 34,342, uh, 34, pull back sharply, then had another peak, A, B, C, D again, just under the previous D. That's usually not a good sign when you can't take out the left side high. And then we plummeted sharply. And then we had this spectacular rally from 32,500. Well, fascinating enough, I'm going to go to the daily chart that I show subscribers every day. The 120-minute chart did two things. And one of the reasons why I said we're not doing, we, we had added at the, the day before the rally, uh, Wednesday of last week, we went long prior to the market opening, and we took a little bits off on the way up. We actually were aggressive in the three times long Dow. And then I said, I, I don't want to do anything else here because we've made that peak D right on the orange 200. This is the 120-minute the chart on the right. Right up against the 200-period exponential moving average, there's also an automated Chapman wave resistance level at 33,512. So we're just going to step aside here and, and see what happens. Well, it's fascinating because talking about the, and that was a peak D right there at the 200-period moving average in the 120-minute chart. Now, look at this. Yeah, I think you and I spoke about this, but I don't think I actually followed through with, with you, but I did on my show every single day. I've been saying in a buy mode, and I've got everything in place for the dollar, that the dollar has made a peak C, and my everything about this, the MACD, the stochastic, the buy signal to buy mode said we should get a leg D above 105.36. I should also mention uh, subscribers all along the dollar for a long time now. And there it is. Today we got that D. And I'm always fascinated about, you know, what, 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 what were the techniques that should say to you that the dollar under these conditions should suddenly spike up? And yeah, we got it. So I'm always fascinated how it actually unfolds. When you, you know, that's yes. the objective. It's yes. not a guarantee, it's just an objective. Right. There it is. And so this D um, coincided together with the uh, short term, a little bit of caution that I had um, in, the, in the overall market. I must say that the steepness today was a little more than I anticipated in that I thought we would get the D in the, in the dollar and then pull back a little bit 
And that would give me the real test of whether or not the Dow is going to go much higher. So this is going to be a very important uh, moment because the, the way the dollar is moving here, it's kind of aggressive. It's only the daily chart, but you can see on the left side, it's got a high right there on the 6th of January at 105.63. And today's high is 105.65. And I also have a time, a time price a sequence that goes to today. So I'm going to see whether or not uh, tonight when I do my analysis, if I see a correlation between the weakness in the euro, the strength in the um, in the yen for the, for the dollar uh, relationship. But what really is fascinating to me is that we've got so many uh, of these double bottoms and in I wanted to go to the TLT. You know, we're looking at uh, on my show for weeks, I've been saying the 99 level is really important. The let me see if that can come up. There it is. The uh, TLT, which is the iShares Treasury Bond ETF, made a low. Look at this right here. Made a low on the around about the 27th of uh, January at 99, and then rallied all the way to the 100 809 area. And then it made a little double top. And a whole thing about this is, look at these three sequences in, in the TLT when you can go to December the 7th, it makes a high of 109.68. You go all the way and you pull back sharply to that 99 area and you go back where to? To 108.77 within a dollar. You pull back again, you go back to test again, and what does it do? It goes to 109.35. The way these levels for not just months, it's almost for a year now, I've been following different patterns where the price goes back to within pennies sometimes of the previous high. So that makes this 99 area really important because we went, we tested it twice on the uh, 28th of December, tested it again on the 30th, ran all the way up to that 108, 109 level. Now we've come back five days, four days ago, we tested at 199, uh, sorry, at 99, and now we're rallying. So this is going to be very important because if that 99 level goes in the TLT, it means that yields are going to go even higher. So I'm watching a lot of things with double bottoms and double tops. And I think what we've got here is very selective. We are still long selectively, worked out very nicely so far but not getting aggressive, got raised a lot of cash, got that cash ready to put to work. I just think we're in a trading ban. If you look at the uh, the Dow, INDU, there we are. Look, the Dow stuck in a range. It's been in this range. Look at the weekly chart in this big rectangle formation. I think all these, um, all these indices are in a range, and we'll see if the lows are taken out, the lows that were made last week, because that's going to be important. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go on to newsletters. You're going to see the opening call on the left-hand side. Just hit that subscribe button. Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank Good you. Time. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.